Hi guys, it's Iris. Welcome back to my channel. I am so glad to finally be in front of the camera. I have not been filming nearly as much as I used to. I have not been filming my hauls the way that I'm supposed to. I am sorry, uh, but little man is now in preschool. So that means mommy gets to go shopping by herself, which means she also has time to pick up the camera and film some hauls. So that's what we're going to do. I've got a little Dollar Tree haul here for you guys. Not really anything extraordinary. Um, I did find a really super cute item that I did not need at all, but I decided I needed to go ahead. Well, two actually. Um, that I had no intention of going in and buying, but I saw them. They were cute. They were a dollar. I bought them. So let's go ahead and jump in to this haul. Uh, oh, I'm dropping stuff already. Okay. Uh, let's get some of this boring stuff out of the way. Actually, do I even need to? I got mayonnaise because <laughs> I'm just about out and I'm going to make some deviled eggs today. So I got uh, some mayonnaise and I also got a carton of eggs. I'm not going to show you the carton of eggs, but I did get a dozen eggs in Dollar Tree for $1. I don't know where you are if you can find eggs really cheap. I know they're not super expensive in my neck of the woods but a dollar is still cheaper than what I can get them for at Walmart so I feel like it's still a good deal right I mean of course it's a good deal if I can get them cheaper at Dollar Tree than I can at Walmart then of course it's a good deal but I know um I watch some other Dollar Tree haul people and they'll buy items that like like grocery items and at Dollar Tree they're a lot cheaper but here it's cheaper to buy them at Walmart. Like here, um, I was watching J Money and she had bought some, I think, Imperial butter at Dollar Tree for a dollar, of course, because um, she said it was more expensive at her local grocery stores or Walmart or anything. Here, the Imperial butter is like 98 cents at Walmart. So, of course, I'm going to buy it at Walmart rather than buying it at Dollar Tree. So, you kind of have to really kind of shop around a little bit and see if you can get it cheaper somewhere else why not buy it where you can get it cheaper it may not be the best deal to buy it at Dollar Tree it might be a better deal to buy it at one of your local little mom and pop grocery stores or one of your your Walmarts or something like that so just kind of have to shop around and see where it's going to be cheaper for you um, I also got for little man uh, some Lance toasty crackers these are the round crackers with the peanut butter in them. I don't know if he's going to eat these. Here's my dilemma uh, with him being in preschool now. I have to pack him. He's only in preschool for three and a half hours. Well, including drop off, it actually ends up being about four hours because I drop him off at about 745 and I pick him up at 1130. So it ends up being about four hours that he's at school. Um, but since we pick him, pick up is at 1130. He doesn't have lunch, but I do have to pack him a snack every day. Uh, and you guys, I don't know if I've talked about it. I feel like I have. He is a very picky eater, almost to the point that he kind of doesn't eat. He's doing a lot better now. But meal times are still kind of a headache for us. So I'm trying to find healthy things that I can put in his lunchbox for snack time that I know he'll eat. Uh... So I'm hoping that maybe he will eat those crackers. I have found that he likes the uh, the Danimals smoothies. He loves those. So I packed him one of those today. He's been really loving apples. So I sliced him up half of an apple and put that in his lunchbox today. And I also packed him some, uh, I don't know guys. <laughs> I packed him some sour cream and chive crackers today because I bought them for myself. And I opened a pack one day and he stole them from me and he liked them so I put those in his lunchbox maybe he will eat them maybe he won't I don't know um but it's just kind of trying to figure out what I can pack for him that he will eat there is a horn like steadily blowing in this parking lot and I don't know where it's coming from but that's kind of weird and I feel like I should be more concerned about it but 
I don't know. There's other people walking by and they don't seem to be concerned. So I'm not going to be concerned. And there's like two police cars parked behind me. So maybe they'll see it and do something about it if they need to. Okay. Um, now, these are for me. I have seen these in Dollar Tree for maybe about a month or two now. And I always say, oh, I should get those. No, I shouldn't get those. I don't need those. Well, I think now I need them because since... Uh, we're doing the preschool thing now. That gives me three, four hours in the day to do whatever I want to do and whatever I need to do. So I'm going to start walking again since I can do it at the pace that I want to do it at. And I'm going to need some to-go cups. So, you know, for my ice water or my iced coffee because I don't plan on going to McDonald's every day to get coffee. Uh, I could but why would i do that if i'm buying iced coffee at, like a large carton of iced coffee at walmart why would i go to mcdonald's and buy more why wouldn't i just use a to-go cup with what i already have so got me some to-go cups is the point i was trying to make i really like these they say adventure weights there's two cups and two straws in this pack so there's two pack there's a it's a two pack not there's two packs it's a two pack yeah um Like, the corniest joke just popped into my mind, and it wasn't even corny. Um, Two-pack? Anybody see where I'm going with that? Anyway. <laughs> you guys, it's getting wacky in here. Okay. Uh, also got a little file folder, a little receipt file folder. Uh, this is mainly for my husband. Since we have moved so much further away from where he works. He commutes an hour and back every day. Um, so we're thinking since he does have a long commute, maybe we should start saving our gas receipts. So when tax time comes around, maybe we can get a little break for that. So gotta start keeping his receipts. Uh, I have also been saving receipts. I'm trying to see where our budget is. So I've been keeping receipts so that I can log them. So this is just for our receipts. I also, okay, let me get these other things out of the way and then I'll show you the really, the two really cute items. Um, I got some of these packs. They always have these. These are the little, the, uh, Sure Fresh reusable mini containers and lids. There are 10 in here. I bought a pack of square and I bought a pack of round. Now these are for little man's lunchbox. I'm hoping they'll work. What I really wanted was some silicone baking cups, like cupcake cups, because my Pinterest wall is full of really cute lunchbox ideas on how to pack a really cute and fun lunch for your kids, and they always use the silicone baking cups. I have a set. They're in storage. I'm not going to go rummaging through to see if I can find them. So, And I can't find them anywhere. I went to Walmart. I've been to Dollar Tree. I'm not going to go to very many other places. So. Just decided to get these instead. I think these will fit in his lunchbox. Um, of course they'll fit in his lunchbox. I'm hoping they will fit in his lunch container. Because uh, that's really what I need it for. So, But I got those. Now, the two really cute things. The first, This is the very first thing I picked up when I walked in. So it's, it's a little early. But it's a 2019 calendar. I really like the design on this one. And it doesn't start until January 2019. But, I mean, I think it would be okay. I was going to pick up a 2018 school year, like a student planner, but they weren't cute. I know that's, that's like, a really bad reason for not buying it, but I thought this was cuter, so I got this. Uh, and I already have, like, a big planner. It doesn't have a calendar in it though so but i still think that for right now i can maybe just use what i already have and then when 2019 rolls around i'll have this to use it with it um <laughs> this was just dumb i don't know why i bought this besides the fact that it is so flipping cute you guys i don't know if you can really see this very well but it is a flamingo tape dispenser. I'm going to open it and show you. Take it out of the package. 
and show you this thing because it is so flipping cute. This was up by the registers at my store. Now, here's the thing that I will tell you. My store that I have now, because in case you guys missed it, I used to live on the Mississippi Gulf Coast. I have moved further north. Uh, so, I mean, I'm not in North Mississippi. I'm still in South Mississippi, but I'm an hour away. I'm like in the country now. So, the Dollar Tree that I have here, I feel like they get stuff maybe a season or two, a month or two or a season or two late sometimes. So, I feel like this is maybe something that they had in other stores during the summer. My store just got it. But this is what it looks like. I mean, come on, you guys. That is cute. That is just too, just too stupidly cute. Oh my gosh. Why am I so excited about a tape dispenser? But it's really cute and I like it. And I don't know where I'm gonna put it, but I will find a place for this lovely little thing. I've always wanted, you guys, have you seen the uh, tape dispensers that are shaped like red high heels? This has been around for, God, for, for a good long time. But I think, who puts them out? Scotch? 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 Yeah. Scott? Scotch? What's the name of that, that tape brand? I think it's Scotch. Anyway, I think they're the ones that put that one out. And we would put them out all the time at Office Depot when I worked there. But I've wanted one of those for so long. And no reason to have it. No reason to have it but I really wanted one. But now I have a cute tape dispenser. So I'm hoping that I can refill this too. I'm sure I can, but that's really cute. So that was my Dollar Tree haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm gonna do some bag noise here for a second while I load this all back into my bag. Whoo, you guys. Can we be real for just a second? So, I have cried for three weeks about dropping my son off at preschool today because he has been with me or my husband every day, all day, since he was born. So I have been really nervous and scared about today and I've cried every time I've thought about dropping him off for his first day of, of preschool. And I'm very proud of myself because I did not cry today. I walked him in. I got him ready for school. He was so excited to go, you guys. He's been so excited to start school. He wants to be around other kids so bad. And he wants to learn things so bad. And that is so awesome. I am thrilled that he feels that way about it. Um, but Mommy is scared because, you guys, <laughs> I don't know if I've told you this before. But he has a slight speech delay. So... He's four years, he's four and a half. He's not quite where he should be as far as his vocabulary and I guess sentence structure. Those things are not, not, not quite there for him. Um, he can, he can talk to you and he can get his point across, but he's still learning how to put words together to create a proper sentence. So, and he gets really frustrated when he's trying to tell you something and he knows you don't understand him. He gets super frustrated. He just breaks down. Uh, so I've been really worried because I know he's got a couple of hurdles to get over. So I've been really nervous about that. Ah, I feel my voice starting to break. <laughs> um, I've been really nervous about that, but I, I had to tell myself over and over and over again these teachers are professionals this is certainly not the first child that is like this that has walked through the door um there are probably other kids in his class that are not going to be quite there as far as speech is concerned he can't be the only kid in the world who has ever gone through this so I have talked myself down I think I am good now but I dropped him off this morning he was so excited. I was getting him hyped, excited, ready to go. I was totally expecting a meltdown when I dropped him off, but I walked him in, got him in his class. We put his book bag and everything away in his cubby where it's supposed to go. And his teacher um, already had like 
some some stuff set out on their table so they could come in and start painting um, because you know you gotta kids know if if mommy walks out the door some some of them sometimes might have a bit of a meltdown so she had something already there for some kind of activity for them to do already so he sat down and we gave him a kiss he sat down and wanted to start painting and I left like as soon as he sat down and he got to doing what he was doing I bounced I got the crap out of there because I knew if I didn't something was going to happen and he turned around as I was leaving and I was like oh crap he saw me but he didn't say anything I could have kept walking and he would have been fine but I walked back in got him situated in his seat and then I left um and you guys I didn't cry I got out of the building I got in my car I shed maybe two tears sucked it up moved on so I am very proud of myself whoo what we go through as mothers, you guys, what we go through, and even, even as fathers, caregivers for children, but you guys, I'm just going to tell you, mommies, the ones that grow the babies in our tummies, we have this special bond with our children that nobody else can have. And I think that's why my husband has been saying he doesn't understand why moms have that problem you know he said if it were him and he was dropping him off at school this morning he would be like here you go your problem now I'm out but it's not like that for for me and I know for other mothers and I think that's because we made that human we grew that human in our bodies so it's harder for us to let go and know that somebody else has to take care of him now not that he's not going to come back and he's not still our responsibility but for a couple of hours on this day he's somebody else's responsibility for a couple of hours and that's tough you guys i don't know if you've been through it yet and if you have i mean maybe you can comment down below and, and let me know if it was that hard for you to let go but <laughs> It, it was difficult for me, but I think I did a pretty good job. I got all of my tears out for, for three weeks. <sighs> I think I'm good now. I, I went and did my walk. After I dropped him off, I walked. I cleared my head. Everything was good. I went and got me a coffee at McDonald's, and I came and ran my errands. And now I have an hour and a half until I have to go pick him up from school. So... <sighs> I guess I'm going to go home and do some chores and pick him up from school. And that's going to be my day. <laughs> so yeah, first day of school. There it is. I hope you guys enjoyed my Dollar Tree haul. Thank you for listening to me ramble about uh, first day of preschool. <sighs> it's going to be a great day. It's going to be a great school year. Um, all you other parents out there and kids, if you're watching too, it's going to be a great year. You're going to do great. Your kids are going to do great. Um, there's going to be some bad days, but we're going to get through it. <sighs> Just got to breathe and take it one step at a time, one day at a time. We're going to get through it. We're going to get through it. Guys, I hope you have a great day, a great week, a great year. And I will see you next time. Bye.